We're gonna shoot in my professional YouTube studio today. Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Ben, I'm a huge fly fisherman. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I do appreciate it. In today's Huge Fly Fisherman video, I'm gonna talk about different fly fishing YouTubers. Who I like, who I don't like, what's good, what's bad. Am I gonna burn some bridges? Maybe. Am I gonna talk some sh Definitely. So a lot of people are putting their time and effort into fly fishing YouTube channels for different reasons. They're promoting their guide service, they're trying to earn revenue from ads or merch sales, stuff like that. Some do it just for fun, and some are doing it because they think it makes them cool and part of the industry, and they want to be a famous fly fisherman. Well, I have a couple things to say about that. The industry sucks, and it's not a fun place to be, and if you think fly fishing makes you cool, well, you're just wrong. Fly fishing doesn't make you cool, you make you cool. And for the people that want to be a famous fly fisherman, congrats. Like 10 people are going to know who you are. But I do need to give an attaboy to anyone that's putting work into their fly fishing YouTube channel for the right reasons. It's hard work. I respect that. Keep it up. Now I'm going to tear you apart. Now I am not immune to criticism, so let's start with my channel. Let's start with the bad. My videos have pretty low production quality overall, and that's what you get when you only use a GoPro and iMovie. My videos have the same bad jokes over and over. They have terrible audio. Okay, that wraps up another video. Thanks for watching. Honestly, that's the hardest part for me. My videos have questionable subject matter. A video about rod tubes? Really? Now what about the good things on my channel? I like to think that there are a lot of them. Number one, you're gonna get a lot of variety. I have instructional and informational videos, etiquette videos, fly tying videos, more philosophical videos, and videos of just me going fishing. And there's variety in the fishing that you'll see also. Trout, bass, carp, bonefish, tarpon, permit, snook, redfish, sharks. I actually tallied it up and I've shown at least 30 different species of fish being caught on my channel. Yay! On my channel, you're not gonna get any bullshit except maybe some mildly clickbaity titles and some questionable practices to get you to subscribe to my pay channel. Hey, I got bills to pay. On my channel, I'm real and honest. I'm not beholden to any corporate overlords, and I'm gonna say stuff on my channel that no one else has the balls to say. But enough about me, let's move on to some other fly fishing YouTube channels. And remember, these are just my opinions, and I encourage you to form your own. Let's start with Jensen Fly Fishing. This is Dave and Amelia. They're from Canada, so it's pretty much all trout fishing. They are certainly experienced and they know what they're talking about. They go to amazing destinations, they catch some great fish, and they give you in-depth explanations of what they're doing. I find that their videos are either super relatable or completely unrelatable with not much in between. You'll have a video like how to catch a trout from an undercut bank. Okay, pretty common. Then you'll have other videos like what to do when the water is flowing at 43 CFS, you're standing on the left bank trying to catch a right-handed fish in a back eddy that's feeding on emerging sparrows and you had pancakes for breakfast. You know, everyday stuff. I think overall though, the videos just kind of put me to sleep because they're just kind of vanilla. Also, the places that they go to are totally unrelatable. Most of us don't exclusively fish in New Zealand, Patagonia, and Alberta. You're not gonna see a Jensen's video from Deckers. Of course, you probably won't see me fishing Deckers either. All right, let's move on to another YouTube channel called About Trout. This is James Garretson, and I'm biased here because James is a pretty good friend of mine. He has videos about fly tying or instructional videos or some that are just for fun, lots of different stuff. He's a lot funnier than I am, and he's definitely more in touch with the younger folks. James is a full-time guide, and his channel is primarily to drive traffic to his website and to book trips. And it's working because he's really good at what he does. So if you want a wide variety of videos that are about trout and pretty entertaining, check out his channel. Okay, the next channel is called Trout Hunting NZ. This is Gareth, he lives in New Zealand, and I like this guy. He's definitely somebody that I would fish with. His videos are mostly vlogs, like watch Gareth go 
go fishing, but they're good. He catches enormous trout, like shockingly large. He's real easy going and genuine, and it just feels like we're hanging out when I watch one of his videos. But I will say that Gareth is living in a fantasy land, man. It's not real life. Most of us will never be in the situations where he finds himself, but it's still fun to watch if you like seeing obscenely large trout. So check out Gareth's channel, and one day you'll see me on there, I'm sure. All right, next channel is Wildfly Productions. This is Scotty and his friends. They have great video production, both the cinematography and the sound design. They have good storytelling, and Scotty clearly puts a lot of work into his videos. But these guys don't know that much about fishing, and I don't think they fish for anything besides trout and smallmouth. There's a lot of other stuff out there that people want to see. Also, these kids are young, and they have a lot to learn about being fishermen. I talked more about that and my relationship with them in a recent Q&A video I did on my other channel. Scotty, I know you're gonna watch this, so I'm gonna give you some unsolicited advice. Get off of YouTube, man. You're better than YouTube. YouTube is for jokers like me. Aim higher. You're really good at this. You can do better than YouTube. All right, the next channel is a smaller one that you might not know about. It's called Tightlining MD. This is Mike from Maryland. I got a soft spot for him because I learned to fly fish in Maryland. I started watching him when he had like 200 subs and it's been fun to watch him grow both as an angler and now as a guide. As the channel name suggests, most of Mike's videos are about Euro nymphing in the Maryland area. Mike, keep up the good work, but I have one thing to say. Your channel is called Tightlining MD, but like half your videos aren't in Maryland. But who cares? Check out Mike's channel and maybe hire him for a guide trip. Okay, the next fly fishing YouTube channel is Mad River Outfitters. Well, well, howdy, friends. That's Brian and his crew from Ohio. Brian has a very successful channel and a very successful fly shop. He has really good informational videos, but I kind of feel like I'm listening to my high school guidance counselor, and I just want to say, okay, boomer, after everything he says. Brian does get the award for the curviest hat bill in fly fishing. Okay, next up is Alvin Dito's channel. Alvin's a full-time guide and owner of All Water Guides in Austin, Texas. How can you not like Alvin? He just has that way about him. He has a bunch of instructional videos and a bunch of videos about tying guide flies that are super simple and work really well. His videos about how to fish for bass are way better than mine. Check them out. Lately, Alvin's been doing a lot of Q&A videos, which gets a little repetitive, but I know how hard it is to come up with new content every week, especially when you're working full time on top of that. Hell, I made a video about how to hold a fly rod and I got a lot of shit for it. So I'll cut you some slack there, Alvin. So check out Alvin's channel and maybe book a guide trip with him in either fresh or salt water and tell him I said hello. Okay, next channel is called Wish for Fish. This is Ken Tanaka, Mr. What's Up? He has uh, lots of different cameras. He fishes cool destinations, but it seems like he only fishes with guides. He says these guides are his friends, but they're definitely not. There's a business arrangement of some kind going on. He shoots in a cool studio like I do. The samurai thing is pretty cool, but the carefully arranged rod tubes are a bit much. Let's see, something else positive. Uh, um, nice jewelry and that jawline like a chisel. All right, moving on. The next channel is called Drew Looking Fishy. I don't know where Drew is from, but he takes summers off and he makes videos on small trout streams in the Mountain West. He gets a ton of views. I'm sure the clickbait titles have something to do with that. Personally, I don't find his videos interesting because they're all the same. Small streams with small fish. He talks about how remote he's always getting, but some of that is definitely bullshit because we have some videos from some of the same creeks and they're like five minutes off the highway. Also, he talks talks too fast and he mumbles and it annoys me. Very impressive view count though. All right, the next fly fishing YouTube channel is called Tenkara Addict. Just kidding, we can't talk about that one because it's not fly fishing. That's one of the repetitive jokes I was talking about. All right, I got one more channel for you and then I'll let you go fishing. This one's called Fly All Season or season, I'm not really sure. Bro! This guy's name is Mike. He's from Missouri, but now he's hot spotting all over Colorado and New Mexico. Let's see, the good things about his channel, he's very enthusiastic. It's pretty clear that he's in love with himself and he thinks he is the sh He thinks moonshine rods are good, so don't believe anything that comes out of his mouth. I get the impression that he's been fly fishing for about three years, which is nothing. I might be wrong about that, and I don't care. And is that gatekeeping? You're damn right it is. This dude is the worst hot spotter on YouTube. Mike, if you're watching this, please put your shirt back on and stop laughing at your own jokes. Also, you don't need bear spray anywhere in Colorado unless you're fishing in a dumpster. All right, 
that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. Hopefully I wasn't too mean. I tried to say something positive about everyone. If there's a channel that I didn't mention that you think is good or bad, leave a comment and let us know. And feel free to roast me too. I'm kind of asking for it. I'll be back as soon as I can with another Huge Fly Fisherman video for you. Until then, remember that you can go fly fishing and not post about it on social media. And stay huge. That's it. Get out of here. Go fishing and pick up some trash.